The theme of this year's Christian Aid Week of tackling violence and building peace is a really important one. I've seen in Syria and also Afghanistan how important it is to work on the ground to create stable societies that can then get on and develop, whether it's taking children to schools, setting up health systems, all of those things are predicated on having peaceful societies in the first place. We know so many people live in a war-torn world, finding themselves dislocated, finding members of their families who are victims of violence and who they lose in conflict. And therefore, Christian Aid's theme of this week is an incredibly important theme for healing our world, making it a safer and securer and fairer world. We've worked hand in hand on the ground with Christian Aid in neighbouring countries of Syria that have refugees. That work's critical and it's work that will make a difference in the long term and I think both of our organisations are willing to do what it takes to see us through. It's impossible to change anything on your own, but working together with many, many people, and I think that's what Christian Aid does is pull people together, you really can make a big difference. Last year saw the very successful IF campaign, which mobilised people across Britain. Well, the IF campaign is important to Christian Aid because it's campaigning on really important issues around the government committed to aid, changing the rules around tax, around land and around transparency. I know that Christian Aid was an incredibly important part of that IF campaign. It used the might of its movement to mobilise for that IF campaign. I want to congratulate Christian Aid and IF on the job they did. In the run-up to the G8 last year, Loretta Minghella was passionate as an advocate for tax justice. We need international agreements for tax authorities to cooperate across rich countries and poor countries alike. The UK is now one of the leading countries in putting transparency around tax affairs so that we can make sure that developing countries can get the tax that they're due. I know there'll be about 100,000 volunteers for Christian Aid going out and raising money in this week. And I want to say to them, thank you, because it is an incredible thing that you are doing. You're the social conscience of the country, you care about people around the world, and you are showing it in action by the work you do for Christian Aid. Together, you really can make a big difference, and I think that's why the work that Christian Aid does is so important, and it's why Christian Aid Week is such a fantastic opportunity to get out there, talk to people in our country about the work that Christian Aid's doing, but also why this broader work of development and helping lift people out of poverty is so important for all of us. All of you involved in this Christian Aid Week, you know our obligations to the rest of the world and you are putting in the hours and the commitment which show that obligation in practice. So thank you. From everyone at the Department for International Development, thanks for everything that you're doing this Christian Aid Week.